Today, let's embark on an exploration of Pythagoras' timeless wisdom, delving into how his philosophies on harmony, mathematics, and the cosmos continue to illuminate our understanding of the universe. Universal Harmony and the Music of the Spheres have you ever wondered if the universe plays its own symphony? Pythagoras, the ancient philosopher, revealed a world where music and mathematics merge into a cosmic harmony. He marveled at the idea that there was geometry in the humming of the strings, there was music in the spacing of the spheres, suggesting an unseen concert conducted by the celestial bodies themselves. This concept wasn't just about the stars and planets, it was also a metaphor for life. Pythagoras taught that harmony is unity in multiplicity, and multiplicity in unity. Its existence exemplifies perfection, urging us to live in sync with the natural world, to achieve both personal and universal harmony. He envisioned a society where every action and law vibrated with this cosmic order. Reasoning draws its principles from nature, builds on them, and returns to nature, he believed, challenging us to contemplate our place within the cosmos and align our lives with its fundamental principles of balance and harmony. In a time where chaos often seems to reign, the Pythagorean ideal of a harmonious universe invites us to seek balance in our own lives, reminding us that beneath the surface complexity of the world lies an intrinsic order and beauty that can inspire peace and unity. Numbers and Reality – The Language of the Universe could the secrets of the universe be hidden in numbers? Pythagoras certainly thought so, declaring, Number is the ruler of forms and idea, and the cause of gods and daemons. This bold assertion introduced the idea that numbers transcend mere mathematical constructs, embodying the fundamental principles that structure reality itself. Pythagoras and his disciples saw numbers as the essence of existence, believing that the universe's mysteries could be unlocked through their understanding. This led to the birth of Pythagorean in numerology, where numbers gain symbolic significance beyond their arithmetic value. For example, the number one symbolized the beginning or unity, and two represented duality or contrast, illustrating how all things are numbers in their eyes. Furthermore, Pythagoras suggested that even the human soul resonates with these numeric proportions. Educate the children, and it won't be necessary to punish the men, he argued, highlighting the importance of instilling the principles of mathematical harmony early on. As we delve deeper, deeper into the cosmos with modern science and technology, revealing a universe astonishingly governed by mathematical laws. Pythagoras' vision seems more relevant than ever. His insights remind us that beneath the complexity of our world lies a simple, elegant order, inviting us to partake in its exploration, not just as observers, but as integral parts of this harmonic design. The Importance of Self-Control and Moderation is the key to a harmonious life hidden in self-control and moderation? Pythagoras certainly believes so, teaching that man know thyself, then thou shalt know the universe and God. This profound statement underscores the belief that understanding oneself is the first step towards understanding the broader mysteries of existence. For Pythagoras, self-control was not merely about restraint, but achieving balance and harmony within. He advocated for simplicity and moderation in all aspects of life, including speech speech, diet, and leisure, famously advising, do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in few. This principle reflects his broader philosophy that excess in any form is a flaw, while moderation is the true path to virtue and well-being. In a world where extremes often capture the spotlight, Pythagoras' call for moderation resonates as a wise reminder of the value of balance. He believed that excess is always a defect. It is reasonable moderation that is best, a philosophy that aligns with the golden mean finding the middle ground between two extremes. Today, as we navigate the complexities of modern life, Pythagoras' emphasis on self-control and moderation offers a guiding light. It encourages us to reflect on our choices and strive for a balanced lifestyle that not only enhances our personal growth, but also contributes to the harmony of the wider universe. The Transmigration of Souls and Life After Death have you ever pondered the journey of the soul beyond this life? Pythagoras introduced the captivating concept of the transmigration of souls, or metempsychosis, suggesting that the soul is immortal, migrating from one body to another across successive reincarnations. All things change, nothing perishes. The soul passes from form to form, he believed, presenting a vision of life as a continuous cycle of renewal. This belief wasn't just philosophical, it had practical implications for how one should live. Pythagoras posited, 
stated that our actions in this life influence our soul's journey, advocating for a virtuous existence to secure a favorable rebirth. Friends are as companions in a journey who ought to aid each other to persevere in the road to a happier life, he advised, emphasizing the importance of mutual support and ethical living. Moreover, Pythagoras' views on the transmigration of souls led him to champion a lifestyle of compassion and non-violence. He argued against the cruelty of animal slaughter, linking the well-being of humans to the treatment of other beings. As long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know hell or peace. For as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. This perspective fosters a deep respect for all life, advocating for kindness as a foundation for personal and collective harmony. In our contemporary world, where the debate on the ethics of life choices and our relationship with other beings is more relevant than ever, Pythagoras' teachings on the soul's journey offer a timeless reminder of the interconnectedness of existence. They encourage us to live with awareness and compassion, considering the broader impact of our actions on our spiritual journey and the world around us. Diet and Lifestyle for Harmony of Body and Soul can what we eat and how we live truly bring harmony to our body and soul? Pythagoras, with his holistic approach to well-being, certainly thought so. He was a pioneer in promoting a vegetarian diet, advocating for meals that offer banquets that involve no bloodshed or slaughter, rooted in his profound respect for all living beings and the principle of non-violence. This lifestyle choice was more than a diet. It was an ethical stance reflecting a deep connection between how we treat other forms of life and our own spiritual health. But Pythagoras' teachings on harmony went beyond nutrition to encompass a broader lifestyle philosophy. He underscored the importance of regular physical activity, mental discipline, and the nourishing power of music and philosophy for the soul. A fool is known by his speech, and a wise man by his silence, he remarked, highlighting the value of contemplation and self-reflection in achieving inner peace and balance. This integrated approach to health, emphasizing the interconnectedness of physical activity, diet, and mental well-being, is incredibly relevant in today's fast-paced world. Pythagoras' advice, rest satisfied with doing well and leave others to talk to you as they please, encourages us to seek a serene and balanced life, prioritizing virtue and inner tranquility over external validation or material success. In a time when stress, poor diet, and disconnection from nature are all too common, the Pythagorean lifestyle offers a blueprint for holistic well-being. It reminds us of the benefits of mindful eating, physical exercise, and intellectual engagement aiming for a comprehensive health that nurtures both body and soul. Thank you for joining us on this voyage of discovery. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful journeys into the minds of history's greatest thinkers. Until next time, keep seeking the harmony in all things.